sometimes you want to have different calendars to write down different information on. So one of the things Google Calendar is great at is that it lets you do overlay calendars. So right now I've got a calendar set up, but I want to create a different calendar. And it's this simple. I go to my calendars, I go to the drop down, and I choose create new calendar. When I do that, it's going to ask me, what do I want to call this calendar? So let's say I'm going to make one for a specific class. And I'm going to write down their homework on it. I'll be able to share this calendar with them later so that they can see all the events as I put them up. I can add a description to it. I can say where it's taking place. I can say where it is, when it is. I can share this calendar with others. And they'll be able to see all the event details. And that's going to be handy later. I don't have to share, but this one I do want to share. I can share it with a, an entire group of people this way. Or I can share it with very specific people if I want. And I can give those people, as long as they're in the at homedellschools.org domain, I can let them make changes to the calendar and manage sharing, which is super handy. Let's say I wanted to create a team calendar. I wanted all the teachers to be able to add stuff to it. I could add them individually and we'll be able to see it and we'll be able to make changes to it. We'll all be able to run it as the owners of the calendar. Once I've set the settings that I want, I click Create Calendar. It's going to create a new calendar. And here it is. Anything that I enter onto this specific calendar is going to be in green. Now, how do I add stuff to this specific calendar? If I click on the drop down next to it, I can change the color if I want. I can set reminders. I can share the calendar with other people. But I can create an event on this calendar. When I click that and I enter in, whatever event that I want to put on here, and I'm going to say that that's going to be a 3 p.m. event on the 18th. Um, once I have set the settings that I want to, I can add a location. I can add a description of what it is. I can add an attachment if I want to. I hit Save. And now I've got this green event on my calendar that tells me it's a 7th grade writing lab event. There it is. I can also add stuff to that new event by clicking on now that I've got multiple calendars set up, when I click on a date, it's going to ask me what I want it to be. And it's going to ask me which calendar do I want to put it on. Because now there's more than one, I've got choices. So I can choose right there to put it on my seventh grade calendar and click Create Event. There it is. Because I didn't set a time, it's set as an all day event. It's going to show up that way as in a block. This one has a specific time, so it's just green writing. But the green tells me it's a 7th grade writing lab event. One of the cool things I can do too is if I just click where it says 7th grade writing lab, it turns that calendar off. Now those events are not showing up on this calendar. And I can tell that they're not because it's gone white next to that title. If I click on it again, that calendar is overlaid again. And I can turn different cal calendars on and off that simply just by clicking on them once. They toggle on and off. And so now all I've got showing up is this particular calendar. I can overlay this one as well if I want to. So you can overlay calendars, create calendars, and toggle them on and off very easily.